You probably have noticed that you may not enter some directories. For example, if we try to enter root, it says permission denied, and we may not open some files as well. For example, when we try to output the file etc shadow, it says permission denied. So, some files or folders we cannot access. That is because folders belong to certain users, and because there are certain permissions. So, when you type ls-l, you saw some line of text here, some gibberish here. So, you might wonder what those are. Those are actually permissions. R stands for read, W stands for write, and X stands for execute. And if you look a bit further, you'll see the user and the group the file or folder belongs to. For example, if we go to the slash directory, we list the files or folders in there, and you'll see those folders belong to the user root. That's why we couldn't enter the root directory, because that is owned by the user and group root. So, when we type cd root, we cannot, because we are not the user root, we are user Kali Kali. So, we can enter home Kali Kali, list the files in that directory. You'll see everything belongs to Kali. That's why we can access those files. So those are permissions. To change the user, you can type sudo the username, and then it will ask the password. And if you know the password, you then instantly become that user. If you don't know the password, what you get is error or authentication failure, and it says that. But if you know the password, you then change it to that user and can access those files. So, you may also see there is users in groups, and any user can be part of one or more group. So, when you type the command groups, you'll see the groups you are part of. So, in this case, the user Kali is part of the group Kali, ADM, Dialout, CD-ROM, Floppy, Pseudo, Audio, and many other groups. So, a user can be part of one or more groups, and a group in a Linux system may be allowed to do certain things. For example, the CD-ROM group, likely that group can access the CD-ROM. The floppy group, it will be able to access the floppy drive or the floppy disk. So that's very old. If you are live in those times, then floppy is like a CD-ROM or a USB, but like a very old version. So, you also see audio here. If you want to run things as super user, sometimes you can do the sudo command. So, in this case, you'll see Kali as part of the sudo commands. So, we might be able to run a command, sudo etc shadow, and you'll see, we can now output the file etc shadow that is owned by user root. Why is that? Because sudo runs any commands as super user. And usually on most Linux systems, when you type this, it will ask you the password of the super user of root. So sudo, sometimes you can run that if you are part of the sudo group. So, I type groups, you'll see we're part of the sudo group. That's why we can run any commands as the sudo, as the super user root. So, you'll see sudo, who am I? Now it runs who am I as the super user, which is root. And we can open, when we try to output etc shadow before, it said permission denied. But when we do it with sudo, You'll see it immediately outputs the commands or the file contents because sudo runs anything as the super user. Thank you guys, see you in the next video.